Welcome to Hotkeys and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this melting effect uh, which you can combine with your text. First of all, open up a new slide and create some auto shapes, some circles. Um, use different sizes and overlap them however you like. This is going to form the basis for the drips, uh, for where the drips are going to come from. So what you want to do is use the duplicate tool, Control D, to create lots of extra circles very quickly. It doesn't really matter how you put them, just be creative. Select them all and then go on to a tool called Shape Union, which is up here. It makes them all become one shape. And I'll show you why later. It's much easier to um, edit one shape rather than lots of individual shapes. I'm now creating the drips. What you need to do is create a couple of circles and then add some triangles on top. It might look sketchy at the moment, but believe me, in a moment it will come together. Make sure that the triangle aligns perfectly with the circle so that you don't have any rough edges. And create as many of these as you want. Use different sizes and different widths. Once you've done that, combine it all together using the Shape Union tool again. And now you want to edit the points. Right click and click on Edit Points. And this allows you to make the drips look a bit more rounded. Which makes the effect look a lot more realistic. You can do as much of this as you want. Once you've done that, duplicate the shape that you've made, resize it and flip it. This can create some variety in the shape without having to do a lot of extra work. It doesn't have to be too symmetrical, and it's better if it's not. This is just an example, however. Now use Shape Union again to combine all of that into one piece. And now I'm going to show you how to incorporate that into your text. So, use a letter with a typeface that's very thick so that you can hang the drips from a letter. So use a really bold font, make it bold, and then make it really large. Now, you want to be able to edit that letter like a shape. So what you need to do is grab a shape, for example a square, put it behind the letter, and then you want to combine them. Use the intersect tool, and now that shape, that letter, has the same properties as a shape. Therefore, you can edit the points if you want to. And you can also use shape union to add other shapes to that shape. So now I'm going to add the drips to the H. First of all, I'm going to chop my drip shape in half using the subtract tool. Put a square on top of your shape over half of it and then click one, click the other, and click on subtract. I want the drips to be quite bold, so I'm making them nice and wide. Okay, once you've done that, add some extra circles to and smooth off the sharp edges where the H and the drips connect. You can also add some drips running down the sides of the H if you want to. Be as creative as you want to. Add some more drips to the center of the H. Select everything and click Shape Union. And now that allows me to edit the color and the outline of the H as if it's all one shape, which will make the effect look a lot more realistic. So now use um, some gradients and some outlines. I'm also going to duplicate the shape and uh, overlay one on top of the other to create a more of a popping effect. So I'm going to have a different colour for the background dripping H to the foreground and this will make it stand out more. Here's what I've done with the whole hotkeys word. So this takes a little bit longer but the effect is just as good. Overlay uh, background and you can have as many overlays as you like. Um, choose a color that suits you. 
Uh, I hope my videos have been useful to you. Uh, if they're a bit too quick, then let me know. Um, please leave comments below and I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.